Right, so what I've got here is a, uh, well, what used to be a Trust brand baby monitor camera thing. It's a analog 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, receiver and transmitter. I've got the receiver here with a no longer used uh, CRT driver. I'm going to try to isolate this receiver unit here and I'm also going to try to take this camera unit here which is connected to the transmitter PCB here and see if I can get uh, composite video out of this rainbow cable here since it seems to be a fairly oh, straightforward solution this this connector is labeled the 5 volts video, audio and so forth and there's a similar connector coming out of this PCB here so hopefully I'll be able to take both take S video no composite video straight out of this thing and also composite video straight out of this thing without the need of all this so let's get started Okay, it seems as if I was correct in my assumption of this camera module feeding out uh, S composite video directly. I've soldered on a composite video cable here that's connected to my monitor and uh, as you can see we've got picture if it'll expose, there we go. And yeah. It seems proper camera seasoned. The image quality is considerably better than what you get with the over the air with the trans uh, receiver thing. If you look at this, look at the computer screen there. You can see that there's a window. It's the audio recorder that's recording this audio. And if I switch now to the receiver's video output. You can still see it. Well, a moment ago when I did just that, <laughs> it wouldn't uh, show, but even so, the image that you get from the receiver is considerably darker than the one you get from the camera itself. The, the speakers, yeah, the speaker looks quite obvious there you can't see anything but the white roof and the and the black back backdrop on the receiver but if you look directly at the camera you can see both the tweeter there and the mid-range driver there so that's considerable improvement I think and uh, with some voodoo I'm hoping to be able to connect this to a computer. Well, I'm going to start by trying to isolate this thing. I think 90% of, well all of this actually would be unnecessary for driving just the camera itself. So I'm going to try and isolate this unit it needs uh, well, I don't need, think it needs anything but power, actually, and it's getting 5 volts in that pin there. So, hopefully I'll be able to isolate this and use essentially one, just this little handy camera module, which takes power in and composite video comes out the, the other end. So, 
stay tuned